The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, the Mushroom Kingdom was under attack! What a surprise! Oh no, I'm so scared. No reaction from Lannis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of appropriate. So anyway, yeah, these bouncy guys on... Pogo sticks. Yeah, pogo sticks, thank you. Uh, you know, that's actually kind of pathetic when the whole bunch of people on pogo sticks take over your kingdom. <laughs> well, they do shoot fire out of their bellies. Thank you for not putting it a little lower. Alright, taking bets. Who thinks Dre is going to survive this fight? Um, I think, I think he'll suffer some damaging blows. I, I, if I had to guess, the first game over... First game over is going to be Bellier. What? Eh. The bee dude who shoots arrows with his bow and... A boyer. It's like... Bowyer. It's like Bowyer, Bowyer. Bowyer? I think it's Bowyer. Stupid names. The reason why I say Bowyer is because it's like Bowser, except with a Y. <laughs> first time I came across him, I thought he was Bowser, before I actually saw who it was. Yeah, Bowser with, like, some kind of chemical problem that, like, transforms him to some ugly creature. Sounds like if, uh, the Mario world were mixed with the Marvel world. There's a trick here. I'm not entirely oh, sure how to... Seen the Avengers uh, trailer Is yet? Heads or something? There's a glitch. I'm trying to figure out what the glitch is, but uh, I cannot activate it. So, oh well. It's actually possible to skip this fight. <gasps> Ooh. No, I've seen it on YouTube. You have to like wow. go around in some special way and talk to the and if, chancellor. Yeah. And you'd be all celebratory with these guys surrounding you. With with Mac just sitting right there. Wait, uh, wait, you haven't fought me yet? No! Oh well. So, it's at least possible right, to skip those guys in front. So, it's the longest time I had a hard time making out what Mac was, right? Yeah, I used to thought I used to think he was like a sword with eyes and some yes, little yes, red thing exactly. on his head. See, like, yeah, same here. Those were his eyes, and this yellow part was his mustache, and this was his lips. <laughs> yeah! Like, it's like what's what with thought. those I thought, lips? I, I thought that was just like some kind of headdress, like a hat or something. <laughs> like, I didn't think that was actually his face, but no, he's on a giant freaking sword pogo stick. With eyes! Oh, good sword. Is that, or is it just like little circles on his sneakers? It's it's actually a tie. It's a it's a no. I've got a. I'm gonna YouTube. Or I'm gonna Google this right now. It's a it's a bow tie. Mario <laughs> RPG Mac images. Come on. Don't make fun of the stash, Chester. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Dealing with the dog. Yeah. And the wife. Same difference. And I got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So what's the deal? With Mac? Um... Uh... Well, the thing is, I'm having a hard time finding the the good picture of it. I should have... And you know what? 
Look at this. I got the freaking player's guide right over here. Lantis is an abusive relationship. Mm hmm. That's what, that's what happens when you get married. Or maybe it's not abusive. Maybe there's some sort of freaky roleplay going on. Oh, okay. I see the picture. I have a, I have a picture right here. It's a Mac. It's Max GIF. If it'll load. It is a pair of eyes, actually. So it's some fireball looking guy on a sword with eyes. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's, it's a dude it's okay. It's it's a guy with a red head with like a Jack Skellington looking kind of face with little horns on his head. and he's wearing a red cape. And uh, he's holding on to two handlebars like a pogo stick and then there's eyes out in front in front of his yeah. Crotch. Yep, those are definitely eyes. They're like floating, actually. He's got green... Well, in, in the picture I'm looking at, he's got green shoes. Yeah. But in the... Uh, Game, he's got Right, he's got white shoes. And that, my friends, is how to overanalyze <laughs> how a boss looks. <laughs> and so we As are. That back. stuff is clearly not lips. Yeah. Giant red spring. And we got a new boss scene! And an awesome boss scene! And I can't hear yep. it. Won't be yeah. able to hear it until you upload it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be able to hear it. There's no way you're actually singing on key with it. There's no way. It's probably <laughs> no, he's not. Completely different part. Alright, let's see how this works. But yeah, that was totally not Max Electrified. Okay. You don't remember the original theme? Like, oh yeah, I, abs I absolutely remember it. Oh, it didn't stun him. Alright. Max, it's... You did it again, then. You didn't counterattack it. What? Ow! Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> wow, what the heck was that? It looked like one of the moves from later, like Czar or something like that. Static E? No, he, oh, I thought he had static -y. Yeah, he, he's always used static E. He's got no. static E and flame wall. No, he never used static E. He was firewall. Bowyer was static E. Oh. That's right, he had, um, he had That's flame, right. the little ball of fire that floated and then dropped on you, and he had flame wall. Yeah, flame static wall was static e was the next boss. I think, I think static E is a counter attack to what I'm doing here. Whoa, what the? Whoa, what is that? Oh, never mind. It's nothing. <laughs> it's like they're no. doing extra bounces on the ground. I think they are. <laughs> like they're doing an extra bounce. Looks like two extra bounces. Or three. I'm trying to screw you up on your timed hits. Backfire. Backfire? The heck? That's that's a move used by um one of the Ow. Monsters in the volcano. Actually, I'm like kind of tree... curious that backfire I think it's like the is. Tree thing. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my science! <laughs> I wonder if backfire is a countermeasure to Thunderbolt 2. You know, just in case, I'm gonna take care of these two guys and not really use oh. Thunderbolt. But be very careful, cause he can summon them back. Yeah, like, before they're all gone, too. Really? I always yeah. got rid of all of them before he brought them back. Well, in the well, original... Yeah, the original you can always get rid of them with game, a single freaking of Thunderbolt. You can get rid of them all in the original game, but if you take too long to kill him, then he can summon them back. Well, yeah, I, I, even on the normal version, I always had to get rid of two or three, like, volleys of those guys, but, you know, if you had enough 
FP to cast Thunderbolt was never an issue. Well, I, the last few playthroughs I've had of this game, I never had another wave come in. But that's because I was I Thunderbolted and I like super jumped. And oh, you already had super jump by that time? Yeah, I usually oh, got to level uh, seven by then. I don't grind in this game. <laughs> Oh, there's there's no point. Oh, he's immune to jump? Uh, apparently. Wow. Oh, goodness. That's... That's bad. And Mallow just taking 40 points of damage just then. This probably won't work. Watch him down oh, over the flame wall. Oh, gosh darn it. Not that attack again. I don't know how to dodge it. What, how does flame wall? No, that backfire attack where he just blows up. Oh, uh, you can't. You gotta sit there and take a good boy. Oh, I better oh. honey syrup it um, up. Better, better honey syrup it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google and see if honey syrup is real okay. Honey syrup. Mm. You hurt. Basic honey syrup recipe. All right. At this point, it's safe, I think it's safe to say that if I, as long as I don't get rid of this last guy, he won't bring out more. So, <laughs> I found a recipe for honey syrup. And it consists of one cup of honey and one cup of water. <laughs> That's it? So it's just watered down honey. In a small saucepan, heat honey, then add water. Stir until fully incorporated, then let cool before refrigerating. Yeah, that would make, that would make syrup. Yeah. But, well, now you know. And knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe! <laughs> Oh, I wish there were comments on this page. I'd so make it like a reference right now to Mario RPG. Well, here's my question. If you wanted to use honey as syrup on something, why not just use syrup? Or honey. Like, why not just use honey, you know? Because you, you could if you wanted to, I mean... I mean, I know honey's really rich and really sweet, but I mean... There we go. I was kind of worried there. Did you see where I only had one HP left? Yeah. Yes, I did. And one hit should do it for this guy. Or not. So long as the battle thing's still going, I think I might as well mention. First time I played this, another one of these stories, I reached the Hammer Brother fight, and at that point I wasn't really paying attention to the music, so it was, didn't occur to me that there was a boss theme playing. Got to Croc when it's like, wait a sec, does this song sound different? Then became pretty obvious whenever I hit this fight that yeah, there were some pretty different battle themes. Oh! Bracer! Nice, I think. Hey! Yeah. Double defense, sure. Is that a level up? Yep. Uh, still one more level to go for Super Jump. Psychopath. <laughs> oh, hey, I found an ingredient, or a, a recipe that calls for uh, lemon juice. Ew. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you would do that. Lemons taste bad enough as it is. Lemon's good on fish. Oh, here we go. Eat the buttered fish. Buttered honey syrup. That that sounds more like it. Because syrup has a nice usually has like a very buttery taste to it, so that makes sense. I like how the game yeah, spoils yeah, for Stop us right on. now. It's like star pieces. Oh, is that what that is? Thanks for telling me. 
we could have found out later thanks to the story, but yeah, we can find out now. Why is it a star piece when it's a full star anyway? <laughs> We have we must warn the boss. Boing boing boing. Now what's interesting here is you can either just walk off and leave him there or go up there and talk to him. Well he'll stop you and yeah. be like, Oh Mario, I didn't realize you were there. But I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> Gonna talk to him just because it's funny when. Here's those two toes sitting down there, getting back in their post saying, Oh, um, yep, everything's fine here. We're just doing our job. And screw you, Mario. We're not gonna thank you or give you any items or money. Hello, Arrow. I'm really disappointed that honey syrup is a real thing and it's something so lame it's just diluted honey. <laughs> well, is it really a good idea to hop in down while you're on stairs? He's an old man. What's the worst that could happen? Help us, Mario Kenobi. You're our only hope. Ah, oh, the narrator. I wonder what Kiro translates into. I'm on it. They look like a cat, cat or something. No, that's that's Nico. Or Neko, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna leave and then come back because there's a little funny line of dialogue whenever the toads are wandering around the fortress. Who up here? Um, it doesn't have a translation. It's just Caro, regardless huh. if it's on Japanese or detect language. Well, what does it mean? I was just seeing if it translated. Caro. Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't stealing. How did you know? <laughs> it's a shot glass. It's an ancient Incan shot glass. So we're going to an ancient Incan, ancient Incan shot glass sewer. At least that's say what that the three Wikipedia times fast. <laughs> 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 Not it. Not gonna do it. Akira, trust you on this ancient one. So Indian don't trust you on any of the uh, other messages you told me. Oh, by the way, they changed Princess's name to Peach for this hack, in case you didn't <laughs> notice. No. I, well, this is the first time I saw it. Alright. What's next? Oh, okay, guys. I found it. it this was really hard to find. But Kero is the Japanese sound effect that Japan, uh, is what Japanese people think the sound a frog makes is Kara. Oh. Well, that so makes sense. Ribbit, so Ribbit, Ribbit, Cola? Yeah, so it's, they don't say, that, like, Ribbit, like, let's be honest, all the words that we make up for animals don't really sound all too close to the sound they actually make. Well, so, I've never heard so of frog Kiro is kind of like croak. Yeah, it, it, Kiro is Japanese, I guess, for ribbit or croak. Kiro. Kiro. Croak, croak. Yeah. Alright. 
So it's it's croak croak cola. <laughs> yep. That doesn't Ribbit sound too encouraging. Cola. So now right? we're going. So now we're going to the croak sewers. Yeah, we'll die there. That's that's a sign. Actually, there there are no frogs there. Not unless you count Bellum. Bellum's not, a, Bellum's not a frog. No, no, he's not. Absolutely not. He's like a leopard. That's nothing. There is. He is. There is literally no way you can explain what he is. Hold on, let's. Look, I forget what Bellum looks like completely because last time I played it was in he's one of my classes. Big, round, yellowish, long tongue. Four eyes, has, four ears. Yes, four eyes, four ears. Kind of has like a, a cat mouth going. Like a little stubby nose and those two little balls underneath the nose that look like the, the cheeks where the whiskers would come out of. Big lolling tongue. Uh, you'll see him next time. Right. In the meantime, there is no way I'm going to get another video in before work, so we're just going to end it here for now. Alright. At least we uh, saved the Mushroom Kingdom. That counts for something. Yep. This is where the game would usually end. If this were any other Mario game. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving the Mushroom Kingdom. No. Dun, dun, dun. 